I guess I, I gotta be honest, uh, at the time of making the movie, life uh, for me was a little on the downside. So it was definitely, um, I guess, easy, easier for me to relate to that character and all the sadness and hell he was going through. I mean, there's, you know, he wasn't a drunk or anything because, you know, I loved, like, you know, Mickey Rock and, like, Barfly, you know, but he wasn't, like, anything like that. He was just this sad, kind of pathetic guy looking for somebody that the word marriage, his wife... <laughs> It means something, but it's really like he hates her and she hates him, and it's just like, it was just a character, the sadness in it, it just kind of, for me, came easier to relate to and kind of get out and stuff, and it just, I don't know, like, it just came very natural. Filming the movie, it, it, was, a, it was a project done on the weekends when people were available and everything. It was definitely during the summer. It's not the government's house we were shooting out. They were basically squatting in the house that should have been torn down. Disgusting house. Just, you know, banned life. Beer bottles everywhere. Just smelled and dirty. And it was really, it was like trying to find the, the sweet spot to like sit down and not feel gross. <laughs> There were great scenes in the movie that we did there, really funny scenes, but again, it was like the summer, probably 120 in the house, no AC, windows closed, curtains straight, like just, it was fucking gross. This movie did have a lot of insane characters. Uh, the one character that stood out to me the most that I just fell in love with was actually uh, John carries his character, the hobo. Uh, I think starting the movie off with him, of me walking down the train tracks and kicking him by accident. And there was another scene where I bump into him and he's sitting, we shot it behind a McDonald's. And he's just sitting basically surrounded by human shit where homeless people were. <laughs> so uh, the fact he just like, it's not like he threw something down to like sit there. He just sat there. <laughs> it was so fucking gross. But he didn't care. I was like, this guy is hot. So John, John is definitely, his character stood out a lot as one of the most insane characters for me and favorites. I met Marta Estorado twice. I just remember her being really I mean, honest to God, she was just so happy this was happening. And she almost had this like, kind of Christmas gift look on her face of like, she, everybody who was on set, she was just like, this, it was just so like, thank you. You know, she just had this like smile on her face of like, I can't believe this is happening. And thank you for writing this insane script that you reached out to somebody you admire to make it happen you took she took that chance and was like I would just love for you to read this that's how it started and we made this whole movie and everything is just amazing and I the times I met her she laughed I remember turning to her being like eh, am I doing Frankie good am I Frankie and she was like you're fucking nailing it and I was like all right because I never met him but based off of what your story says and your description and you know I just if you gotta come in and change something you tell me she's like she was just like no you got it like and I was so flattered so um it was great it was just one of those dreams come true you wrote something and somebody looked at it and said I want to make this movie and for her that happened and that's amazing and I'm so glad I did get to meet her even though it was a few times um, it's gonna be forever because now it's on a DVD and it's on a movie and it's her names on it and you know I got to be part of something of somebody very special so I really appreciate it.